Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Moses Energy. Let me introduce you to Noel and Lauren and myself. I'm Beth. Over the next 30 minutes, we are going to lengthen and strengthen the body in this invigorating mind-body workout. In Moses Energy, we borrow elements from Pilates and yoga, as well as athletic training to improve mobility, flexibility, balance, and strength. In other words, we're all going to improve our movement health. Now, along the way, should you find you want a softer option, then pay attention to this side of the screen. On the other hand, maybe you have a little bit more movement background and you like to push things up a little bit, follow Lauren over here. With all of that being said, are you ready to redefine yourself? Okay, good, let's, let's move. So come to the top of your mat. We call this mountain pose, and it's essentially where everything begins. Let's lunge to the right, look Don't to the know left. Why so many people saw for you to never Once die. more, push down to lift up. And let's go the other way. These simple movement patterns will help us get warm and ready. Over you go. Reach up. Hands to heart, then sit for two. So I'd like you to feel a nice kind of opening and stretch as you reach up, recenter, and sit. Now, sit your eyes straight ahead, and we add on. Reach. You might get the sensation that by reaching the fingertips downward, you can sit a little deeper in the legs. And that's really what we're after. Let's go back to our side lunge. This time, you could take the foot up, start to play with your balance a little bit, and just in case you wonder, balance isn't necessarily about perfection. Push down. It's just about working through. Up. And then we sit. Maybe you've noticed that without really thinking too much about it, your breath and movement start to match. Okay. Now you've got the liberty to reach down. Two more. Keep things nice and simple in the beginning. Just get the body and the mind connected. Let's roll through the spine. Chin up and roll through. One more. So while we want to get strong, we also want to stay supple. Take a look over your shoulder, other side, yeah. and we can just kind of walk through the feet. Okay, so far so good. In our next sequence, these movement patterns are often referred to as sun salutations. They're designed to help us create heat, length, and strength. Can you just be breath in and up? Let me go. With your knees as Never soft as you like, bring your hands yeah, to the floor. You right leg reaches back, go. look forward towards us, you then set your hands go. flat and lift your it hips. Glide forward I'm to the top of a push-up, so either with your legs straight or your knees again. down, it lower to the floor. Roll your collarbones up and then the belly. Roll over your feet. Soften your knees. Right foot steps wide. Reach up. Your choice. Pick the foot up toward the ceiling or step the feet together. Again. So we lunge and lift. Foot comes high. Now step through the hands. Set back foot flat. Circle up, reverse it down, lift the foot up one more time, step through hands, and to the top of your mat, 
inhale to lift all the way. Let's do that again. You just Full breath in. in. Never let me go. Exhale. Look down at your feet and drop your hair. Left leg back. This is our deep lunge to open the body. Lift the hips. This is downward dog. Glide forward to plank. As you lower, imagine your heart shining up and out a little bit. Point your toes back as you hold into up dog and back to down dog. Soften the knees, left foot wide. Reach up, cause I don't want this hand down, three-legged dog, or down dog. Notice that we let the thigh bone spiral open. That's helping us open our hips. Step through the hands, set the foot, circle the arms up, release the back heel, up goes the front foot. Step forward, yes. Inhale. We're halfway through the sequence. Inhale. Think of the armpits lifting up. Dive forward. Mm -hmm. Right leg back. Look forward towards the screen. And then send your eye gaze back between your toes. As you come forward, stack your shoulders. And then a little forward shift before we lower. Inhale. Up dog opens the front of the body. Down dog opens the back of the body. Right foot wide. And reach. So the thigh spirals and then the trunk spirals. Again. This time, foot goes between the hands. This is our warrior two. We'll use it again very soon. Three like a dog, big stretch. Step forward. And again, inhale, lift and lengthen. One more time. Big breath in. Exhale. And hey, I know behind the screen, you're starting to feel the heat. Left leg goes back, but that's what we want. Down dog. On the other hand, if it's a little more than you're looking for, you soften the edges with no. Exhale, lower to the floor. Now as we bring our attention to the breath, let's start working forward, matching one breath per movement. Left foot wide. Sink the hips. Reach up. Send the foot high for your three-legged dog. And again, full breath. Let it come and go as you need it. Foot's coming high. Now step it through. Step the foot. Up you become. Almost like a cartwheel. You tumble down. Sweep the leg up. Step it forward. Now we've got the energy of the group working to bring us all together. Side body stretch. Full breath in and out. Once more. Hands to heart. Wow, looking great, everybody. So that's what we love when we start to build that heat. We start to build our energy. And then from there, we can begin to shift our focus into kind of exploring this relationship between standing strength and balance. I'm so standing firmly on the right, then I am become testing the heavens. You here with me. Oh, you said my tears from all I've been through, but now you're trying. Really? Float the chest up. Slide your leg back like an airplane. Changing sides. Acknowledging as you go. Now, sometimes you find a little wiggling and wobbling. That's totally fine. Just work through that. Release. 
This is Warrior 2. We bend the front leg and straight in the back leg. Spin forward with your back leg as straight as you're comfortable with. Bend the front leg more. Yes. Now a little spring to center. And then we stand and balance. We'll rush the foot straight back your warrior three. Let's go again. Feel free to touch down in between. Or if you're really spot on today, maybe you go right from one to the other. Step down. The front knee spirals toward the pinky toe, but the ribs spiral in opposition. Come around. We're reaching energetically out, down, but energy rises up. Step and shine. Take as long as you need to feel that you can really fire this standing hip and then brush back. Again. So figuring out how to find that strong, stable base is part of the workout. Step down. How would you like a little trick of the tray? Spin the biceps up, flex the arm muscles, turn the palms down. Yes. Round you go. Sink deep into the legs, we're finding how low we can go. And stay strong. Here we go. Lift. Rush back. Again. One of the reasons we do these one-legged movements is that it's a really fundamental movement skill that we all need. Step down and change. Can you move this sitting mode toward the floor? But the top of your head toward the ceiling. Come around. This is crescent lunge. It requires strength and balance. Nice. Step. Here we go. Lift. There's this sense of the heart kind of lifting and shining forward. Mm -hmm. Open the feet, take a big breath in. Allow your thighs to spin open a little. It'll feel like your toes are pointing to the corners. Big breath. Lift your heels. We're imagining as we lift the heels that our head stays level in space. And the training really begins from the feet, yes. Okay, well Ooh. done. All right, thank you, Beth. <laughs> All right, everyone, core training is gonna be next. And it's important to understand that core is not just the abs. It's all of this right here, front, side, and back, hips to shoulders. So just go ahead and lie back. All of that's gonna be fair game. We're gonna turn on the diagonal so you can get a better perspective. Sit up nice and tall, and then roll back. Arms are gonna go overhead, and all you're gonna do is slowly roll the body up. Lifting as tall like as you can like and roll down. Who's gonna be? Perfect. Like Do baby. one more and use whatever strategy Who's you need. Momentum, like baby. holding your legs, like whatever you need. Put Who's that in your back be? pocket. It'll be faster like next baby. time you see it. Three curls. I've got to find then lower down. So the goal for the curls 
is to lift the shoulders off the floor without pulling on the head. You've got one more. All right, everyone, are you guys ready to roll? Yes, and roll up a little faster. It's four, three, two, one, and down. You've got it. So you're trying to peel one vertebra at a time off the mat. Two more. Perfect. Last one. All right, listen up. Bring your knees over your hips. Let's rotate side to side. So this is a bicycle. Tons of choices. The longer you stretch the legs, the more challenging it is. If you want a little less heat, take the legs out of the equation. So try to get the armpit to the knee, and if you want more work, stretch the legs long. Woo! How are we doing out there? Excellent. And feet come down. Three quick curls. So that's set one of three. You know the landscape? Let's add to the work. Try to pull the navel into the spine. That'll help you fire up deep core muscles. One more. Who's ready to roll? I'm ready. Let's do it. Now, if you use your breath, try exhaling to help with the roll. Excellent. Like Last one. Who's gonna be All right, are you ready for that bicycle ride? Knees come up, rotate side to side. Now, the bicycle actually helps train the obliques. Those are the muscles that help the torso turn. Uh, so really focus on rotating the chest. Uh, all right, get ready. If you want it, stretch the legs long. In four, three, two, and feet come down. Third set. Come on. And lower down. So try exhaling as you're curling. That'll help you work the deep core muscles. Two more. Last one. All right, are you guys ready to roll? Yes. Ready? Let's roll all the way up. Perfect. We've got three more. Who's gonna be? Uh, now at the top of the roll up, can you sit as tall as you can? One more, Deb. Uh, all right, last chance to bicycle. Knees over the hips. Let's turn, come on. Now, if you need to take a little bit of the heat off, that's got you covered right there. Uh, now, I wish I could take the heat off, but I'm gonna go for it. Uh, you got it. How about you, Lauren? I'm good. All right. Who needs more? Let's Stretch do the it. Legs. Ah. Now we Ooh. work front side and side side. What's left? The, the back, back side. side. And take it down. You make the Rock the body up and roll over. Bring your arms forward and let's stretch the arms nice and long. Right arm. Who's gonna be? And lower down. Switch sides. Who's gonna be? Let's add the lower body to it. Right arm, left leg. Who's gonna be? Now while you're here, as opposed to focusing on lifting, can you focus on lengthening? One more each side, then our magic number is gonna be 16. How does that sound? Sounds good. Who's gonna be? Arms and legs move in opposition. Now, if you need to take the heat off a little bit, go ahead and follow Beth. Uh, try to stretch nice and long, pulling the navel into the spine. And let it go. How did that feel? All right, coming up. I love that. Now, mobile hips and a supple spine is going to be key for movement health. So bring your right leg forward. Some of you may want to start here, and Beth is going to stay in this position. Others may stretch that back leg long into swan pose. Now, swan is a great pose to open up the hips and stretch out the glutes. 
while we're here, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, just sink into your mat. Bringing the pads of the fingers to the floor, draw the chest up. Good, shoulders are down and back. Let's swing the back leg around and hook the leg over the other leg. You want to keep the hips connected to the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, wrap around. Top leg sweeps around as you fold over the front leg. Bring the back leg around. Ankles connect. Press through the ball of the foot and the shin as you arch your back. So this is a continuous flow. Sweep around and fold. Beth likes to say this is like WD-40 for the hips. <laughs> One of my favorite lines. Yes. Don't say I'm blind. Lower down. Can you give us one more? I think so. Yes, just melt over. Coming up. the ankles and let's stretch out the side of the body. Change sides. Two more. Now what we do to one side of the body, we have to do to the other, right? Left leg in front, right leg back. When you're ready, fold over. Now, some of you may have your foot close away. to the hips. Others may have it close to the front of the mat. All good. I could make it without the feeling the pain. As you exhale, can you soften into your Things mat just a little bit more? Never stay the same. And on your next inhale, let's bring the body up. But I hope I love. Perfect. Try to keep the chest so nice and open. Let's swing the back leg around. Well, don't give up or and it doesn't matter how you hold this thigh. You see, we're all holding it differently. It's all good. I miss you so. Are you ready to mobilize so. the hips? So. Sweep around. Should I say goodbye? Sweep my up. baby. Ankle to ankle, then press through the ball of the foot. You'll feel a nice opening through the front of the hips. Forever. Good. With control. Should I say goodbye? Coming up. My baby. Inhale. And forget your eyes. Exhale. Forever. Can you do one more? How did that feel? Good. Felt good. That's it what I great. thought. I All right, next, we're going to work on stretching out the back of the legs and relieving any tension you may have in the lower back. So go ahead and bring your right leg forward. Sit on the hips, the bony part connecting with the mat. Inhale and exhale. The way I look at now, you see, Beth has a choice in case. Um, to put your sitting bones down Makes a little bit more. So unsure Bending the knee can be helpful. The reflection of your black eyes keeps my On an inhale, warm. bring the torso up. Cross the leg on top. To inhale and exhale. Gives me now if you want to have your foot a little bit more forward, day. feel free. The shoulders are down I'm and back. With you, baby. For the rest and release. Of my life. Take the right leg to the side. Keeping the hips down on the mat. Stretch Would over to the side. Me? Coming up. The motion gets strong. One more each side. Now 
Now you're going to have tons of choices. Bringing your feet together or in a straddle. Your knees can be bent as you fold or not. As you exhale, just let the body go. Coming up, left leg comes forward. Inhale, exhale. Now I like to walk the hips back a little bit. That actually helps me stretch the back of the legs a little bit more. The reflection of your black eyes keeps my soul warm. Coming up, cross your foot over. Inhale to lengthen and then exhale to twist. That will help you with the rotation. Good. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. And release. Left leg out to the side. Let's stretch over to the side. Coming up and over. The motor traction gets strong. One more each side. The way you love me, baby. How you feel about my life. Now choose how you want to fold and feel free to choose a different position than you did last time. Than even a little bit more. And then bringing the body up. All right, the next part of this workout is the best part, is where we allow our body to basically repair itself. So let's take three minutes, lie back in a comfortable position. All right, some of you may have your knees bent and together. If that's more comfortable for you, feel free. And take a moment to focus on the cycle of your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And take a quick body scan. Do you notice any tension anywhere? If so, focus your breath in that area and allow yourself to just let go.
Let's gradually bring awareness back to the body. Maybe move the hands and the feet just a little bit. When you're ready, if you'd like to, reach overhead and stretch your legs long, just like you're waking up in the morning. Yeah. Rolling to your side. Let's cradle the head with the arms. And just take a moment. And again, when you're ready, push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Excellent, bringing the hands to the heart. So for best results, we recommend that you take Mosa Synergy two times per week and then over time maybe add more Mosa or other Mosa workouts into your training schedule for training variability. That will not only get you fitter, but it will help you be movement healthy. Outstanding work, everyone. I want to thank you for your time and see you next time.